Hello guys, today we will be learning compiling Apache from source on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. My name is Vakas Ashraf and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. Let's dive right in. So to install Apache on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS from source, it has a specific set of requirements which we need to fulfill before we start compiling it. So Apache requirements are that we should have the PCRE library development headers already set up and installed in the hosting. LibSSL should be installed. The build essential package, which is a made package for the C compiler, the make command, and the other useful stuff already installed in Linux. Then we are going to be needing Apache Portable Runtime Project, which is APR, and its utilities package. Let's dive right in to how to compile Apache on Ubuntu. I already have an Ubuntu 14.04 Vagrant machine running on my local system, on which we are going to be experimenting on how to install Apache. So first of all, I'm going to navigate over to the user local SRC directory where I'm going to extract the package. And then I'm going to switch myself as the root user so that I should be able to easily download and install the software without any kind of issues. First of all, we need to install the PCRE3 and the SSL library development headers in our system so that we can continue in installing Apache. So we should be installing the packages from apt-get, apt-get install libpcre3-dev and libssl-dev and I'm gonna give it a moment to complete. So now that the libraries have been installed, let's download Apache. So to download Apache, first we need to know where to download. I have the websites open right here. Here's the Apache website httpd.apache.org slash download.cgi. At the time of this recording, the latest version of Apache available is 2.4.18. So let's choose the tar.gz version. Let's say copy link address, go back to our machine, wget, and this is a shortcut that it'll download and extract the file in one single command. I'll give it a moment to complete. Apache has been downloaded. If we take an LS and see, there's our Apache already extracted. Now what we need to do is download the APR and the APR util packages, which are located at apr.apache.org slash download.cgi. Let's grab the tar.gz package, copy link address, and then write the same command, tarzxv dash. Let's give it a moment to complete. Okay, so now we have the package APR downloaded. Let's download the third remaining package, which is APR util. Grab the tar.gz version of it. Let's download the APR util package following the same commands. Okay, now we've got all three packages right here, which is our Apache, APR, and APR util. Now, when you're compiling Apache from source, it has a specific set of requirements which are also mentioned in their documentation. So what you should be doing is we need to move the APR152 package in the HTTP directory in SRC lib by the name of APR. And we also need to move the APR util package to HTTPD extracted directory SRC lib APR util. Okay, now that we've moved these both directories in the Apache SRC lib directory, let's go ahead and compile Apache. To compile Apache, first of all, what we need to do is run its configure command. And I would like to give it a specific set of parameters. Number one parameter is prefix. And here you actually mention in which Linux directory you want to install Apache. In my case, I would like to install that in user local Apache 2. Then I also like to have all the modules compiled as shared so that I should be able to easily enable or disable them at a court. So really all. 
and also I would like to install the MPMs as shared as well so that I should be able to switch between MPMs whether we want to use event, worker or pre-fork it should be just an enable or disable in the Apache configuration file. So let's give it a go and give it a moment to complete. Hopefully you haven't encountered any errors and your response is almost the same as it is on my screen. Let's go ahead and run the next set of commands which is make and make install. These are basically two commands which I'm running by combining them with the double ampersand operator. The make will actually create the binaries of Apache and make install will actually copy the binaries in the correct locations. Let's run this and give it a moment to complete. This is a big step and this actually takes a while to complete. I'm going to pause this video till it completes and I'm going to resume back as soon as it's done. All right, so it took a few minutes and now that we see that Apache has been installed, we need to do two more things. First, we need to create a symbolic link from the installation place of Apache which is user local Apache 2 and then the bin directory there we have a binary Apache CTL let's create the symbolic link in the etc init.d so that we should be able to access Apache using the service command like service Apache start or stop things like those now we also need to add Apache to the system startup and in Ubuntu you do it like update.rc.d Apache defaults. Now that we have it there let's start the service and check this if it works. Okay it gives me an error that the configuration is not yet complete but anyhow the Apache is started. Let me run it localhost and if you see the message, it works. That means your Apache is working correctly. We can check that by going into the Apache installation directory, which is user local Apache 2, and then the htdocs directory. Here we see that we have an index.html file. You can open that up, change the message to something else, say Apache successfully installed and go back to your browser, reload, and you see that it's working. So that's it guys for today. We have successfully installed the latest version of Apache on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. Thank you very much. See you next time. Take care. Bye.